bad as, as far as my health. You know, I'm sick, but um, I'm very, very frustrated because I weighed myself hoping that I had lost weight, but I could tell my stomach's getting bigger. And I'm like, you know, what's going on? I am killing myself with this diet. Um, you know, bland food, no sugar, no salt. Um, you know, again, doing my best not to pick anything with sugar or salt in it. Um, and it's very difficult. Sometimes I just have to like, well, if it's one of the, if salt is one of the last ingredients, then I guess it's okay because that means it, it doesn't have a lot. Um, but I'm just really looking for stuff that's low sodium, no salt, um, just killing myself. But, I, and I noticed my stomach is getting bigger. I'm like, what the heck? And I weighed myself and I gained four pounds. So I am so frustrated about that. Um, I don't know what to do. I was reading in the book that if you can't lose weight in the diet, um, the diabetes book, then you really, really should ha do the gastro whatever, where you cut your intestines, gastro bypass. Um, I really don't want to do that. I'm the type of person that if there's a side effect, I'm going to get it. If there's going to be complications, most likely I'm going to be going through them. And I really have been trying to avoid that. Um, I had the opportunity to do it, you know, 10 years ago when I had the temporary Medicaid when I hurt my back. But I did not pursue it. And my doctor really, really at the time was against it because her, um, uh, her receptionist did it and died within six months. But that's because her receptionist wasn't following the diet. You know, so, and those surgeries are not the end all be all because, um, women still gain weight. They, first of all, I haven't seen women lose all the weight. Uh, women that I've seen have it have not lost all the weight. They're still chubby and, um, and you can gain the weight back. Um, so, um, it's not the end all be all. And, um, I know I, I always knew that I was a prime candidate for that right now. A lot of insurances have cut Medicaid cut out doing it unless it's absolutely medically necessary. Life endangering. And in my case for diabetics, yes, I would be, I would probably get accepted. Um, so still working on trying to get insurance. You know, a lot of insurances don't want to take people with pre-existing conditions. And if they do, they want to charge you, you know, a mortgage, if not more. So i um, still working on that, but I'm also working on getting my pills right. Um, because my blood pressure kept rising, uh, what I decided to do, I was, I have, I was supposed to take two pills a day. I was taking one pill each, each pill that I was supposed to take, I would interchange them every other day. So I was taking one pill a day. Um, so I was taking one pill a day and, and, and you saw what happened. I, my, my digestive system got messed up, intense pain. So what I decided to do was take half a pill. Uh, you know, one pill half, and then the next day half of you know of each pill. So now I'm down to half a pill because I need to do something. So my pills are lasting me a long time because I've had to cut them in half, and um, I do better like that. So that buys me time to figure out to to try something. But I'm hitting hitting my head against walls here trying to get insurance. But um. So, yeah, so, um, that's, that's been my thing. Very frustrated about the weight gain. The only thing that, um, that I did different was, um, I, I didn't eat green vegetables that week and I tried an, a butter substitute, um, coconut. It's a co it was a Coke, this new thing that came out, this coconut, a substitute for butter, no sugar, but it's sweet because it has the coconut flavor in it. So for, I was having that on, on whole grain toast, uh, every day. Um, so I don't know if that is what it was and that I wasn't eating the green vegetables. Cause I try, I was trying to fill myself up with green vegetables. So I don't know if it's that I haven't gotten into an exercise routine. I, I've just, you know, even though I finished homeschooling, I, you know, still have a lot of things that I've let go that need to be taken care of. And getting sick just puts me more behind. Um, so um, I'm really, you know, just want to get that out of my way because I'm the type of person that if I go out and I come back, nothing's going to get done. And if I do the stuff I need to do, I'm shot by the end of the day. Ever since the accident, I can't multitask. My brain hurts after a while. 
So it's like, I can't do both. Not at this point anyway. Um, so I'm pretty sure that if I could just, just walk, cause they were saying the best thing, which is what I used to love to do and how I've lost weight before is walking. I love to walk and, um, I can't do that with the pains that I've been experiencing, but I felt, I feel like maybe I could gradually work myself up to walking again. But like I said, if I go out, let's say first thing in the morning and come back, I will not have any energy, not even mental energy to do the stuff that I, paperwork that needs to get done. I feel like it's just endless paperwork since I moved here. Um, and if I do all the paperwork first, I'm shot, I'm exhausted, and I just want to rest. Um, so yeah, um, so that's up with that. And uh, so I will see you next week with Carnival. Mwah.